Hello. Today I'm going to read Pinkalicious and the Pirates by Victoria Cannon. One Saturday morning, a seagull landed on my windowsill. It had a note in its mouth. The note was from my friend Aqua. Aqua is a mermini. A mermini is a miniature mermaid. Dear Pinkalicious and Peter, meet me at the Hidden Cove at 2 p.m. Love and Seashells, Aqua. That afternoon, Peter and I went to the cove. We brought our beach toys, because Aqua loves to play. Aqua, Aqua, I called. I couldn't see Aqua anywhere. Wow, look at that, said Peter. He pointed to a ship in the cove. There were two men on deck. They don't look like regular sailors. I said, that's because it's a pirate ship, Peter said. The pirates are yelling, Arg, mine are better, yelled one. Arg, mine are much better, yelled the other. I'm scared, said Peter. I shivered. I was also scared. Suddenly I heard a noise. Eee! It was a scream. It was coming from the ship. That sounds like Aqua, I said. She must have been captured by the evil pirates. Yikes, said Peter. I hope they don't make her walk the plank. I knew I had to be brave. Aqua won't walk the plank, I said, because we are going to save her. Peter went pale. What about the pirates? He asked. I looked at my kite. It gave me an idea. I shared my plan with Peter. I tried to fly my kite. But the wind was very strong. Help me, I said to Peter. He held the kite string with me. Together, we ran toward the ship. Suddenly, the kite was swept up by the wind. Kites ahoy, I said. My kite flew into the pirates and tangled them all up, just as I had planned. Arr, yelled the pirates. We're stuck. Peter and I waded through the water and sneaked up the ship's ladder. Peter put his buckets over the pirate's head. Blimey, I can't see, said the captain. Quick, we have to find Aqua, I said to Peter. We looked everywhere for Aqua, but all we saw was a parrot. The parrot landed on my shoulder. Cookie, it screamed. Cookie. My eyes widened. It was the scream we heard before. Peter glared at me. That was not Aqua. He said, oh dear, he said. Heave ho, let us go, the pirates yelled. What do we do, Peter squeaked. Suddenly I heard a familiar voice. Ahoy, Pinkalicious. It was Aqua. Sorry I'm late. I've been looking for you too. Aqua called up from the ocean. Did you meet my friend Captain Pinkbeard? Your friend, I repeated. Uh-oh. Blimey, said Peter. Quickly, we set the pirates free. They're good pirates. We're good pirates, they told us. Then why are you yelling before, I asked Pirate Pinkbeard. Captain Pinkbeard. The first mate and I were having a disagreement, he said. The captain opened a treasure chest. A yummy smell came out of it. The chest was filled with cookies. The pirates bake the best treats on the high seas, said Aqua. What was your disagreement about, I asked. I think our new cookies should have pink sprinkles, said the captain. Well, I like purple sprinkles, said the first man. You are in luck, said Peter. Pinkalicious is a cookie expert. We went down to the galley where the pirates made cookies. I decorated the cookies with pink and purple sprinkles. You can never have too many sprinkles, I said. The pirates tasted my cookies. That's true, said Captain Pinkbeard. <clears throat> cookies for everyone, said Captain Pinkbeard. Now your cookies are perfect, just the way they are, I said.